What's going on, everybody? James here, redoptionagency.com, and welcome to my boring reseller life. And I'm here with another video because I, ever since the last video showing you how I list so many items really quick, I keep getting questions. And since nobody scrolls back through videos, I might as well make an updated video showing you what I do. Now, the key to listing more than 10, 20 items a day because you're bored, blah, 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 is creating a system that you can break down into steps and you can manipulate those steps by doing whichever step you feel like doing. That's what works for me in my mind because I can't just stand at the computer and just do the same thing over and 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 over again. I just can't do it. So I created this system and before I get into do it, what I need you to do is hit the like button, subscribe, and all that jive, hit that bell notification, and I want you to share this video with other reseller people if this helps you and makes sense for you. Because there's so many people out there who can only list 10 or 20 items a day. So here's the system I use. Now, what you need to do first is go into drafts and create drafts. Now, you'll be over here, it says create listings, hit single listings, and here you can create new templates and manage your templates. So I'm going to show you my templates. So I break it down into what I sell. Now I sell mostly the same types of items. And you'll see here what I do. Now I've got ball caps for adjustable. I don't really do the auction thing anymore. I tried that, but that didn't work eBay is not good for auctions anymore. Uh, fitted hats, snapback hats. I got women's shirts, books, cassettes, cassette singles, cassette lots, CDs, CD bulk. My new file on the fly thing I've been trying. Uh, DVDs, eight tracks, hoodies, jackets, records, T-shirts in each various size. Plush Toy is the one I use for everything. That's the one that I have to change the details in the most. Setting up drafts, what this is going to do is allow you to skip through a lot of the item specifics because they're already set in place. Hitting those freaking ridiculous item specifics is what slows people down and is what's very tedious and a pain in the butt and really doesn't matter in my opinion, unless it's like popular items or brand name or new. Uh, I've always said the same thing. If somebody's coming into your store to look for a Neil Young cassette, they're not going to break down item specifics looking for that cassette. They're going to type in Neil Young cassette and boom. That's all they're going to do. So in my opinion, for older stuff like this, a Gildan t-shirt, a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt, who cares about the brand name on a t-shirt if it's, you know, they're looking for what's on the front. They don't care if it's Gildan or through the loom tag. It, most people don't anyway. The majority don't. So they're not going to break down those item specifics. So this is where I come from when creating these drafts. But you can also change them also as you do them. Um, so I'll get into a couple. Let's, um, we'll go back out. And then I'll show you what I do. So I got all these different drafts set up. So what you'll do here is pick the one you want, what item you're getting ready to list. So say you've got an adjustable baseball hat you're going to put up. Find that template. Hit start listing. Now what I do, first thing I do is, before I even start that, I have a page open. right here and I'll type whatever that hat is in um, let's just say it's a blue blue jack in the back hat I don't I'm just making something up as I go all right so I don't have that listed I just went done my search now I'll type it the way I want it to show in my draft so I would have capitalized blue blue jack 
I would have capitalized it all because that's how I do it. Then I copy it. So then I go here and start my draft and then I just paste it in. Blue, blue, black, blue, blue, jack in the back, <laughs> ball cap. Now here's where what I do here is I pretty much page through everything. I go straight down because if you look, I, when I upload, I change the custom SKU where I'm going to put it in bulk. So uh, it's already set for the right category. You already have it set for your store categories. You have all your details in here. Um, so I leave hats unbranded majority of the time. The only time I don't is if it's a brand name hat, if it's something that people look for, sports specialties, logo seven, new era. Um, those hats, I'll go ahead and fill it in what it is. But any other time, I just leave it blank. If it's just a generic Otto or Richardson hat, nobody looks for those. So kind of, I'm not telling you to do this. This is just the way I do it and the way I view it. And I've only been doing this 20 years, so I don't know what I'm doing anyway. So, <laughs> But that's just the way I view the way people search on eBay. So a lot of this, I just leave generic. I leave it unbranded, adjustable, men's, baseball cap, multicolor. Nine times out of ten, if you're going to change anything in here, when it comes to just a generic, I would change the color. That's me because people are probably going to narrow it down via color over everything else. So you can look at it like that. So I do a worst case scenario or, you know, to get me through this the quickest. Um, so everything else is basically just junk in my opinion uh, your details are already going to be filled out in your when you've made your draft my price is already going to be set out my policies are going to be set out PayPal <clears throat> I have tons of different uh, shipping policies depending on the weight of the item so my hats I have a policy for the hats etc etc so if I'm putting up this hat and it's just a generic name hat, all I do personally is copy and paste this, boom, save, I am done. So it literally took me seconds to create this draft. The only thing missing is the pictures. I use the phone for the pictures because that's a different step. Um, I've been working on stuff today. Uh, some cassettes. Herman Z. German. So I was making a... Uh, drafts for the cassettes and I'm still in the process of doing that and so you can go one by one if you have a bunch of various different items like you got a hat and a shirt and a sweater um, you go one by one okay I got my hat up let me create you know a t-shirt it's size extra large all right I've already made my draft for all these here too all your details are going to be set in so you got your store category on eBay, you got your or your eBay category, you got your store categories where you want it. All this already set in. I put Gildan as the generic uh, name in my T-shirts. Um, you can do that. You can put it unbranded um, and then just change it to whatever it is the case may be. You always put a picture of the tag in there. So they're going to know what brand the t-shirt is. And I'm sorry about my, my voice, man. <clears throat> These sinuses just kill me daily. Uh, so since it's an extra large draft, I already got my extra large in there. Multicolor, like I said, with the hats. Change your color if you wish. Because that seems like the most obvious thing people would break down on the side of eBay when they're trying to break things down. Um, then I put... Anything else other detail wise in like regular fit, short sleeves, most t-shirts are short sleeve, etc. etc. Graphic tee. And then I've got a shipping policy for t-shirts. So all that's already all set in. Hit save. Now what you can do here is depending on the mood you're in, you can keep creating these drafts. Or after each one, you can go ahead and go to your shipping station, which is right next to my computer, to make it all quick, convenient, and easy. I can create a listing in under 30 seconds. Let's just call it 30 seconds. So you take that first hat, walk over here, grab your phone, 
refresh it on drafts and to snap your pictures hit upload now I suggest doing it on things that you have more than one picture of if you have the same problem I have uh, one at a time because if you're using your phone because sometimes nine times out of ten the second or third picture on eBay trying to upload it will take forever sometimes it'll take five minutes just to load five pictures I mean it's a pain in the butt sometimes and that's either on my Wi-Fi or on my data so and I've got the iPhone I hear that it works a little bit better with Androids and stuff but I don't know for sure I haven't had an Android phone in several years um, so that's one system you can use another system like I got a full box of cassettes so what I did is I pulled up the generic cassette like I go away go like this I'm gonna make a bunch of cassettes so instead of going through the steps every time to go here start listing draft blah 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 what I do is go ahead and save that draft with just normal and then I multiply that so create draft say I got 10 cassettes I make 10 copies of that draft so then instead of going create listing start you know find your cassette hit start it's all right here so you can just click on it all your details are set type in whatever the cassette is all your details are already set here's and here's where I do again to be able to slip through these item specifics the item specifics is what slows you down and what's a pain in the butt so like for artists I just put various artists I nobody like I said nobody looking for the Neil Young cassette's gonna freaking narrow it down over the, on the side because if you type in Neil Young cassette all the Neil Young cassettes are gonna come up so in my eyes this is pointless title release no. I see that as pointless so I put C title just a generic name my goal is to pass this cluster junk <laughs> up as fast as possible style of music pop rock everything's pop in my eyes pop means popular now if you change anything in these on when it comes to media change the the category you know um, easy listening let's add that let's go ahead and add this and that so you can add different ones so it crosses more than just one so if anybody's going to look at anything in my opinion all this is in my opinion on eBay they're gonna break it down by category other than artist and title because if they want a certain title or artist they're gonna find that certain title or artist uh, so then everything else is just generically filled in I only filled in the things that I never had to I wouldn't have to change consistently like I'm not gonna put in the year because the year will consistently change if they want to know the year I'll put it in the title nine times out of ten nobody cares about the year unless it's like a release or repop uh, that's when good pictures come into play too. taking a good picture of the back showing the date on the uh, album cassette or CD everything else is kind of generically filled in change your price if you need to I've got a media shipping policy save take my picture um, now here's where I do pictures in bulk because I only do two pictures for like a cassette so I can go through a cassette you know take a picture and like you know be done with it in 10 seconds so like I got a stack here of the ones I've created so far so when I'm ready to take those pictures I get on my phone take the pictures save next one hit take the pictures save next one hit and I can literally list you know 60 cassettes an hour easy so that's how I do so much so quick is by breaking it down now if you see behind me I've got glass shelves I got some empty shelves so say I just want to make a bunch of drafts but I'm going to say use a camera 
to take the pictures. I got and take the SD card out or have them transferred to the computer, however you do it, Bluetooth or card. You can make the drafts and set your side your items aside. I set them aside in a certain order as I make them, like basically piling them on top of each other, so they stay in order. That's going to be a key to when you go back and take your pictures, because then you want to take your pictures in an order too. So that when you put them on your computer, and if you go in to add pictures to your drafts, it's all in order. You don't have to spend a lot of time going, okay, where's that listing? I see the picture. You know that when you click on this, then you click to add pictures, you know it's going to either come up at the top or the bottom of your folder. Or you and copy, or not copy, but highlight them all, get them in, blah, blah, blah. So that's, I hope that makes sense. So using all these different steps here, you can manipulate them feeling like what you want to do. If you don't feel like making drafts that day and you just want to take pictures first. I feel like just taking pictures today. Well, grab a box of items, take your pictures, keep them in order, and then you can do your, you know, your drafts and build off of that. So with this system you can manipulate it and rearrange it to what works best for you and to change it up consistently if you need that in your life to keep yourself mo focused and motivated to keep listing you don't have to keep doing the same thing over and over again so hopefully that makes sense <sighs> the key is making a lot of drafts a lot of drafts so then the, the one I said is a generic draft is my plush toy. Say I get something that I don't have a draft for, whether that's a knick-knack or whatever the case may be. Then I have a, a, a generic draft set up. Well, it's, it's set up for plush toys, basically. But this is the one I use to change out if it's something else. And... You know, change all the item specifics, the title, the categories, and all that. So, so that's pretty much what I do. So, hopefully that made sense. So, if not, I'm sorry, and I'll try again. I'll try better later. <laughs> all right. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.